and and the idea is you as reader get to be to, to kind of step inside this practice mm -hmm. just as medieval christians used that practice and we have pictures of them doing this in their in their books of hours to step inside into the sacred space with mary by way of their service to her and in praising her through through this office yeah um, that's in, what's interesting about what you're saying is that in in your own methodology you're reproducing you're, you're reproducing this the feminine symbolism in in this invitation because that's that's a strong part of of the feminine symbolism is is this idea of inviting like you said inviting the 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 believer to step in and to participate and so it's like that's the that's the, exactly that frame you know the invitation is the frame that that leads you in let's say to to the service so i don't know if you did that on purpose but well uh, now sure. i can think i did but now you just did to me what i used to keep doing to milo right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like did you realize that this is what you were doing oh, and yeah, you go yeah. oh my gosh you're right <laughs> mm -hmm. yes that makes that makes utter sense yeah I, but i think I, you know one of the things that i've i'm realizing and i think that that, it, that it's it actually it's actually obvious is is one of the the problem of of the age right now one of the problems of the age is, is is a proper engagement and a proper understanding of of the feminine it's like the fight yes. the fight that's happening is is over what is the feminine and and one of the problems about that is that the feminine is how can i say this the feminine is a question like the feminine is the is that invitation it's that question and so it's it's actually very difficult to answer the what, like if you say what is the feminine, it's really hard. It's it's hard to do it, to do it precisely because it's the feminine asking the what. Like it's the feminine asking for let's say identity to manifest itself. It's the feminine mm. that's that's like that's it's the feminine that is that let's say is that opening for for something to happen. And so it's like. It's it's very it's very difficult. I've been I've been wrestling with this myself when I when I talk about feminine symbolism. It's like I've been really wrestling with how much do you you say, how much do you imply, like how much do you suggest? It's like sometimes if you there's some things that if you say too too explicitly, you make them false. Let's say I don't know how. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. That sometimes I mean that you and I both appreciate the deep power of metaphor. Um, and the I think the things the things that you say you articulate to to metonymically or descriptively to use Northrop Frye's language, mm -hmm. since we're thinking about Jordan's reading too, um, they they kind of lose life, right? And that that is a problem. That the the, the truths that are in, embedded in the stories, it's like the more you unpack the stories, there's this moment of understanding, but then it needs to still be in the story. It needs to still be something that you can live or act through for it to continue to be alive. Uh, yeah. Otherwise it turns into this dead thing that you, you, you kind of write long academic books about with lots of footnotes, but it doesn't activate anybody's understanding anymore.